well, Vern Lundquist has retired. Uh, this video is for sports fans, mainly for those that watch SEC on CBS, college basketball, and golf on CBS Sports. Vern Lundquist is one of my favorite announcers. He's my favorite CBS announcer. Um, yeah, I remember it was over 10 years ago I started watching some SEC football on CBS and he was the voice of that. And then I watched even more throughout the years. And then he stopped doing it at the end of the 2016 season. His last football game he called was the Army and Navy game. And I remember watching that back then. Army, at the time, didn't win that football game in like 15 years. And they finally won it in 2016. They beat Navy. And I'm like, you know what, that was a great way to end Vern's uh, last college football game that he called. And I remember he did some uh, college basketball games, March Madness. And then he stopped doing that as well. And then he's always been, he's always been a golf announcer. Yep. Um, yep, so, any golf fans out there, the Masters just ended, and I remember last year's Masters, they said that Vern was going to call his final Masters in 2024, and my gosh, man, one year just went by so fast. So... I found this video that I'm going to watch here on uh, Twitter or X. So, uh, yeah, let's watch. Let's watch this. Then I'll give you my thoughts. Masters means just about everything professional. My gracious, what a day. Nothing to it. And we have a new leader at the Masters. This Masters will mark Vern's 40th and final call behind the CBS microphone. 40 years from 1983 on. 25 Golly, years man. of sitting up in that tower. 40 16, years. Watching the world go by. The 16th there hole. You have it. He's tied for the lead at Augusta with two holes to play. I am compelled to say, oh my goodness. <laughs> on a personal level, Augusta is a very special place. Nancy, my wife, and I celebrated our first wedding anniversary wow. here. She's sitting right over here to my left, smiling as always. <laughs> so many memorable occasions here. Most noticeably, this guy named Tiger in 2005. Yep. He is to be reactive. You can't anticipate. You've got to react as the fan would be. That's the genesis of what I said at Tiger's Chip Show. In your have you seen anything like that? I think people are known to say, I've never seen that in my life. I'd never seen it. I've heard that call a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I grew up watching, listening to Vern. He has just an amazing ability to narrate in a way that is poetic. He just draws the audience in. He's accomplished a lot here, and he's had a pretty good impact on my professional career. I've been lucky enough to have that memory with Vern for the rest of my life. You're right, Vern. We have not seen anything like that. <laughs> yep. I'm Vern Lundquist at the par 4 17th, a seemingly innocent 400 yards straight ahead par wow. 4. I worked at 17 and 86. This is for sole possession of the lead. I said to myself, keep it simple and get out of the way. Maybe. Yes, sir! Dang. Wow. I really am hoping to see Jack and just say, Thank you very much. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love his laugh. He's got a Vern's great a good laugh. Guy. He's been at the Masters a long time. The iconic yes, sir, with me in 86 was one that uh, 
obviously I'll never forget. Jack in 86 and Tiger in 05, there are worse things for your career than to be associated with those two. Wow, man. I've worked every hole in the second nine now except 10 and 18. In 83, I worked the 13th hole. Seve won it. Looks like it might be a six iron. Seve Ballesteros, leader by four. He flirted with danger, but came out fortunate. At one point, I did 15 and 16. Oh, wonderful touch. In 96. Oh, goodness! This guy <laughs> named Greg Norman had a six shot lead disappear. No. The six shot lead with which he began this day an ever increasingly distant memory. I've done 11 and 12. I'll be at the beautiful but treacherous little par 312. On which we find 32 year old Fred Couples. The famous Freddie Couples tee shot that hung up on the bank. Wow. <laughs> With a miracle of sorts. Well, think of the odds of that ball staying dry. How many times have you seen that stay dry from there? Never. I guarantee you no ball stays on that bank anymore. Good. How about the reaction? <laughs> Found another ball. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> this is such a special place. And I've had so many great moments here. I love everything about this event. It's my favorite golf course ever. And uh, again, just a lot of memories. And that's for you, Vern. What a man, what a career. Oh, man. Um, let me uh, go to my close-up face cam. So, uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of sad to look at him like that because he's. Uh, He's 83 years old. Yeah. He's done it for a long time. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a golf fan. I was never a golf fan. However, have any of you guys seen the movie called Happy Gilmore? I recommend you watching that movie. That is a very funny movie. But Vern Lundquist was in that movie. Adam Sandler was in that movie one of the best and of course one of the greats ever Bob Barker was in it as well man I might I might watch that movie one day I, I've seen it before but it's been a while since I've seen that movie <laughs> so but yeah man he is one of the best ever um, but yeah I mainly I kind of grew up watching you know, SCC on CBS when he was the an, a, the play-by-play -play announcer. Do any of you guys remember the Iron Bowl? The Iron Bowl in 2013 between Alabama and Auburn, the kick six that will go down in history, and he was calling that game. Yeah. Oh man. I would say he's probably in the Mount Rushmore of CBS Sports, the Mount Rushmore of golf, the Mount Rushmore of SEC on CBS, you know. But uh, but yeah, he is my favorite CBS announcer. I don't I don't really watch CBS Sports that much anymore, but uh, back when I used to, he was the guy, you know. <laughs> He's, oh man, he's got that that funny laugh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh, and I remember in 2016 he was at College Game Day, the TV show on ESPN. He was the the special guest picker. You know how they do that at the end of the show? They'll have a special guest picker. Yeah. And he, and uh, they were in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And Lee Corso put on the Alabama elephant head. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's crazy, man, how time flies. So, 
So, uh, Vern, enjoy your retirement, because you deserve it. You are one of the best ever. Oh, one last thing. So, I was watching some of the highlights on SportsCenter, and uh, Vern Lundquist was there at the 16th hole, and Tiger Woods came to shake his hand, and Vern was calling the 16th hole behind a tree. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Like, oh, there he is. He's, he's next to a tree, you know? Um, yeah, man. And I was reading some... Uh, I was reading some comments earlier, and uh, some people did not like... You know, Jim Nance is the the host of the Masters. Speaking of Jim Nance, why wasn't he calling the March Madness finals like he always does? Can someone explain that to me? I don't know. But he was the host of the Masters, and he was basically saying goodbye to Vern Lundquist on the air, and they were playing the Masters theme song on CBS while they were doing that, and people didn't like that because the music was too loud and you can barely hear what Vern said you know I thought yeah I thought that was kind of weird the one thing I don't really like about CBS Sports is I mean their their theme music is great but it's kind of a it's kind of obnoxious after a while that's just me but uh it is what it is, but man, Vern Lundquist called the master 40 times. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys are uh, have any Vern Lundquist memories or favorite calls, let me know. Um, my favorite one was the Iron Bowl 2013 between Auburn and Alabama, the ending, the kick six. So... Uh, yeah, he is one of my favorite announcers. I might do another video in the future on the who are my favorite announcers of all time. He's one of them. So, until then, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, thank you, Uncle Vern. You are one of the best ever to do it, and we wish you happy and well for your retirement. Thank you.